In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can have your own skeletal mesh reference such as these and use them in your own project to judge scale and build to proportion instead of using a BSP box or a static mesh with the same dimensions as your character. A skeletal mesh looks better and allows for a little better judge of scale. Now, unless you have your own skeletal mesh that you can import and use, you will be stuck with using a BSP box or a static mesh box. But there are two options that you could use from Epic's content. This includes a first person game example skeletal mesh and this default skeletal mesh. And I will show you how you can have both and use them in your own project. First, let me show you how you can have this default orange dude as a skeletal mesh reference. You will find him inside engine folder. And in order to access the engines folder, inside the content browser, left click on this view options icon and enable show engine content. You will see this folder pop up. So let's go ahead inside and we want to scroll down inside tutorials, inside sub editors, tutorial assets, character. And let me disable filters so we can see all of them. And inside the characters folder, if you scroll down, you will have this tutorial TPP skeletal mesh. And if you simply left click and drag right into your level, you will have this guy as a skeletal mesh reference to judge scale. Now for this skeletal mesh reference, this was taken from first person shooter game example. And to access that skeletal mesh, you need to log in to Unreal Engine interface, go to the learn tab, and if you scroll down all the way in the bottom, you'll see example game projects. And here's the first person shooter game example. And you will simply need to download it. Now I already have this downloaded. So it asks me to create a project, but you will have a download button here and you would just download it to your computer. Once you have it downloaded, you can either go to library, scroll down and inside vault section, you will have first person shooter and you can create your own project from this example game. It will copy all of the content from the shooter game example and create its own project, which you would be able to open and work with. I'm going to launch this shooter game just to show you where exactly the skeletal mesh is, but you don't have to launch this in order to copy it over into your own project. So let me quickly go ahead and open this. Inside the shooter game example project, let's go ahead to content browser, under game folder, characters, hero TPP. And here is the skeletal mesh that we are going to use. And you would just simply left click and drag from the content browser into this map. So this is the directory where you will find the skeletal mesh. So what I like to do is actually have these two skeletal meshes inside my own project folder. So instead of trying to copy over by launching this project or going into show engine content and inserting the orange guy skeletal mesh. What I do is I actually copy those skeletal mesh references, those two assets into my own project folder. And then I can use them to position these skeletal meshes around the level to help me judge scale. First, let's go ahead and copy over the orange skeletal mesh. You want to navigate inside the Epic's game Unreal Engine installation directory. Go to the version of Unreal Engine, go inside engine folder, content, scroll down, tutorial, sub editors, tutorial assets, character. And here is the tutorial TPP asset. This is the skeletal mesh. So let's go ahead, control C and control V. And I'm just gonna position it right here so we can then move it over into our project folder. Now for the first person shooter game example, skeletal mesh, we need to go inside Epic Games install directory, then go inside launcher folder, inside vault cache, and shooter game folder. Inside here, data, content, and here are the folders that we saw inside the content browser, right in here. So now we can go inside characters, hero TPP, and here's the asset that we are going to copy, control C and control V, paste it right here on the desktop. So now we need to go inside our project folder, the project that you are working on so here I navigated inside my E directory. This is where I keep my Unreal Engine 4 projects. 
by default, Epic is going to save all of your projects inside the C drive, my documents, Unreal projects. When you create your own project, you get to choose where that project is saved. And I have a default directory where everything is getting saved into. So they're not on my main drive. Now, we want the skeletal meshes to be placed inside a specific folder for the project that you want to use them in. So here I have a test and template project. Let's go inside and inside content folder. Here is the start of the content. This is all of the starter content that you get to choose to install when you create a new project. So let's go inside content and then here I'm going to create a new folder and this folder is going to show up inside the content browser. And I'm going to name my content and inside here I would create folders for static meshes, for materials and for anything else that I'm going to import into this project. But for now I'm only going to create a new folder and name it scale. And here let's grab these two skeletal meshes. I'm going to cut and paste them right inside this scale folder. Now if we go inside and open up our test and template project and we get to see the default map that gets loaded in. What we are paying attention to is our game folder, my content, and here's the scale folder that we just created. Inside we have our skeletal mesh from the first person shooter example and then we have our yellow orange dude skeletal mesh reference as well. So then you would just simply left click and drag and place them right into your map. Now this doesn't have any textures or materials because all we did was we copied over the skeletal mesh and this is all we need. We don't need any materials we just needed to have a scale guide to use as a reference. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and it helps you to create your environments to proper scale and proportion.